Good afternoon, and welcome to our noon mass here at Saint, the Cathedral Basilica of St. James. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today, we celebrate the feast of Andrew Kim and Chong Hasong from Korea. We invite you now to rise and join in greeting our celebrant with our opening hymn, number 6676, God We Praise You, the third verse of number 676. continue our prayer this afternoon in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Good afternoon. Today the church invites us to remember and celebrate the lives of Andrew Kim and Paul Chan Hassan and their 103 companions, the proto-martyrs of Korea. So we pray today, of course, that peace may come to the people of Korea, that unity and healing may come from Jesus Christ for all our world. And so as we gather now, for those moments when we have not been peacemakers, let us ask for pardon. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs St. Andrew Kim Taegon and his companions Grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. Paul 
to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching. Empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God because we testified against God that he raised Christ whom he did not raise, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished, if for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Chusa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. so appropriate for the feast of the Proto martyrs of Korea, those who were willing to give their lives to follow Christ, and whose witness has produced much fruit for the people of Korea. In the first reading that we heard, St. Paul emphasizes the importance of our belief in the resurrection of the Lord, that the gift of the promise to the Son and the Son of the Holy Spirit to us, our Church, the bright promise of everlasting life, into which we have all been baptized. Christ Jesus in the Gospel, and our Gospel writer, presents to us those first followers of the Lord, those holy men and women who, as we heard, gave up everything to follow Christ. So today we put together the promise of the resurrection, the call to encounter with Christ and to be disciples in mission, which is exactly the call that the Korean martyrs heard and exactly the call that we hear through our baptism. So we could ask the question, what gives us the grace to be disciples in mission? Those who truly believe in the resurrection of the Lord. And the answer is why we're here. The Eucharist, that source and summit of our lives that allows us to have the encounter with Christ very deeply in his body and blood. The encounter that allows us to feel the grace of the Holy Spirit sending us into the world to proclaim that faith. And as our opening prayer said, all of the world is called to the side of Christ through his witnesses. So we are the new disciples whose names are written in the book of life. As we go to the Eucharist now, let us pray for the people of Korea as they celebrate their martyrs. Let us pray that united in mind and heart with us in the Eucharist, we will all be agents of peace and justice in our world, done in the name of Christ Jesus, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. United in the Word of God, formed by divine teaching in the Eucharist, let us now offer these prayers for our church and world. <clears throat> for the church and her missionary zeal, May God continue to kindle the flame of this holy work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold positions of power in our world, 
May God grant them the fortitude to always seek the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who live in poverty, may God in his mercy provide for their needs and grant them relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God inspire our efforts to share the good news of the gospel with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ, may they join the saints at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Mirka Sancho Lee, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we offer prayer today for the church in Korea, that they will be united in heart and mind. Let us pray to the Lord. God of love and mercy, you have given us the witness of St. Andrew Kim Taegon, Paul Chon Hesson, and their companions. Through their intercession, hear these our prayers and grant them to us through Christ our Lord. Pray, sisters and brothers, that these, our offerings, will be found acceptable to God, who is our Father, the Almighty. To the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised, 
their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to creation, the way which leads to your peace. When we ourselves have turned away from you, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son whom for our sake you handed over to death on the cross. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, who, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, Jesus himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, Jesus took the chalice of blessing in his hands, and confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, this sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, 
graciously endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion of mind and heart with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, with his assistant bishops and all the bishops, clergy, religious, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, St. Andrew Kim Tae Gong, Paul Chan Hassan, and all their companions, and with our brothers and sisters, those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will be revealed in Christ Jesus, our risen Lord. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of the Holy Spirit, we may be always free from, safe, free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who has come to take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord and God, worthy is the fruit of the earth and of my roots. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And singing our recessional hymn, number 885, For All the Faithful Women.
number 885. 